How does this, uh, whoa, 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 meet. Let's see. Oh, man, I shouldn't have started doing this. Now I'll do this all day. Hey, it's, it's, it's old-timey television. Hmm. You know, it's because there's fluorescent lighting in here. There's just no way to keep this from looking kind of awful. It's kind of washed out before, right? Mm. It's probably exactly how it looked when I started. Now it looks dark. All right, enough of that. Hope it worked. Hello, it's Friday. Thank goodness. It is uh, exactly 7 p.m. Well, it was exactly 7 p.m. when I started, I think. I heard my watch go off. And since I forgot to set my stopwatch once again, I'm going to go off the assumption that I started right at 7 p.m. Nobody cares. I'm wrapping up for the week, so thank goodness. I got tickets for a big concert tonight. Here they are. Well, there's one. Here's the other one. I'm going to go see uh, Lisa Shaw at the House Proud show, House Proud Minneapolis. I'm going to display my house pride, and it's going to be too many people in there, and not enough space, and it'll be too hot, and it'll be awful, but hopefully I'll love it. We'll see. Official temperature is just under 30 degrees. Today it reached 33. Yippee. It was really gray all day. There wasn't a lot of sun until the very end. And then by then it was sunset and the sun was gone. So should I keep playing with this? Whee! I bet YouTube hates stuff like this. I think part of the problem is that... Whoa. Yeah. I, you can't tell, but I wore red for Wear Red Day. This is the, one of those shirts that's uh, printed... On the opposite side. There we go. So it has that really interesting look inside out when you wear it the correct way. It's a Rain Spooner shirt. You probably, in fact, I've probably shown it to you before if you followed me on the VU before. But it's mostly vexillologically correct flags for the nautical alphabet, except for a couple of them. So find your initials. Only a couple comments from yesterday to take care of. Questions from JJ Dean on the W. I'm not sure what thought I was having led me to this question, but since you've lived in Minneapolis for quite some time now, I have. Going on eight years. Actually, seven and a half right now, probably. Are you a consumer of Juicy Lucy burgers? If so, which do you like better? And how do you take them? I have never had a Juicy Lucy in all the time I've been here. I feel I can share that with you. Here's to you. I know it's something that you have to have, and it's an experience, and it's got molten lava cheese in the middle of meat, and who wouldn't want that? But I've never had one. Closest I've come to is the when I go to the Starioki, they do burgers. They actually have a Juicy Lucy, their version, which I've never tried, I guess out of fear or just because I'm more comfortable with every other burger they've had. And that's what I order when I'm there. So I should probably go get one. Uh, but it probably won't happen anytime soon. This is not motivating me to go get one either. Besides, I got my health to consider. Those things are heart attacks, man. At least liked yesterday's video. Thank you. We'll just pretend it's your birthday every day. Staggerly wants... My official, undisputed, not to be missed, stone cold lead pipe lock pick for the Super Bowl on Sunday. Oh yeah, the Super Bowl's on Sunday. Isn't it interesting how I totally lost all interest in football after the Packers left? Um, who we got? We got the Giants and the Patriots. And I've been underestimating the Giants the whole time, every week. So, should I underestimate them again and pick the Patriots? 
No, I'll pick the Giants because I'm an NFC guy, and at this point, they probably should win. Yeah. I mean, they beat the 49ers. They beat the Packers. I think they can beat the Patriots. So let's go for the Giants. Oh, let's play with the brightness one more time. That's not the brightness, but the contrast, right? I wonder if I can make myself look less white. Probably not. It is winter. I don't see a lot of sunlight. <coughs> I think that was it for the comments. Which is good, because I'm probably done as it is. I said I was going to talk about Frank's Hot Sauce. And I have bought some Frank's Hot Sauce on the recommendations of, uh, I want to say it was Doug and J.J. Dean. And I should probably... Oh, that must have been on the other thread. Well, forget it. I'm not going to find you. If I recall correctly, that's what happened. So I bought a Frank's Red Hot Sauce, the plain old Red Hot Sauce, and a Frank's uh, Sweet Chili Dippin' Sweet Dippin' Dip thing. And they were both delicious. The hot sauce is kind of on the edge of what I what I enjoy, although I'm really into sriracha, and this kind of reminded me of that, but different, but still good. Ooh, tomato soup. Less sodium. And what was I saying? Yeah, it tastes a lot like those buffalo wings at the Target Center smell, so I wonder if they're using the same stuff. And I'm not really into those either. If I were to get chicken tenders, they would be unflavored or unseasoned. They'd just be crispy skin with no hot sauce on it. But yeah, it was good. I put too much on. It poured faster than I thought. It was, uh, was it more viscous or less viscous? I believe it was more viscous than I would. I'll have to look up the word later to make sure I used it correctly. Because we're all keeping score. Anyway, I poured it thinking it would come out slower than it did, and it went glug, and I had a big glug on there. So there was more than I wanted, so that contributed to the heat. I also tried the other one, and man, that was some good stuff. The problem is it's got a lot of sugar and a lot of sodium in it. God knows I get enough sodium as it is. But when I want a hot sauce, I try to think of something that, that's kind of low in calories and sodium, and these are not those, so i got to be careful with that. Uh, sweet chili sauce because it really is delicious and I really could see that going on practically everything I eat. That's your Frank's hot sauce update. I got one more thing to share with you this week because it's Friday and because I haven't gotten to it. But it was tweeted, uh, the link was tweeted by DJ Tom Middleton, who you probably don't follow, so this will be new to you. It's an article from The Guardian. They talked to a nurse to record. The top five regrets of the dying. The nurses recorded the most common regrets of the dying, and among the top ones, well, let's just read it, and then we'll find out. Are any of these your biggest regrets? Will they be your biggest regrets when you're on your deathbed? What can you do today to make sure that they are not? Lots of stuff for you to think about this weekend, so we'll go down the list. Number one, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. I'm... I... To be honest, I'm not sure what expectations other people have me, so I guess I'm doing okay there. I wish I hadn't worked so hard. You know that I live by this one. So, I wish you hadn't worked so hard. I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. I'm okay on that. I can do better. I will do better. I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. I think that's part of why I do this, is just to throw myself out there. And if any of my friends are interested enough to find me. Maybe they'll stumble upon these videos and they'll fall in love with me all over again. As evidenced by the less than 30 views each video gets, clearly I'm succeeding. There's a lot of time left, so just keep them out there. Keep them in the bank. Finally, I wish that I had let myself be happier. You gotta let yourself be happy, man. Let yourself, I don't know what that means. 
Many did not realize until the end that happiness is a choice. They had stayed stuck in old patterns and habits. The so-called comfort of familiarity overflowed into their emotions as well as their physical lives. Fear of change had them pretending to others and to themselves that they were content, when deep within they longed to laugh properly and have silliness in their life again. God help me, if only I could have silliness in my life again. Does that count? I was looking for something appropriately silly and nothing within reach. Anyway, that'll wrap up another week. I hope I've given you something to think about. Otherwise, I hope I've given you that happy feeling that you haven't completely wasted the this uh, 10 minutes listening to me, as well as however long it's taken to get through this week. Uh, once again, I thank you for getting to the end of another week. To let you know, I am CRZ, CRZ, and I love you, and I'll see you again Monday. I hope. Peace out.